the pandemic, countless families experienced the loss of a loved one, unfortunately, many of which were not expected. Now, of course, the grieving process is disrupted by social distancing, which made it difficult for families to come together and share their pain and honor their loss, which can be particularly hard on children. So as many families across Corpus and those around the country prepare for their first holiday season without their loved ones, how do we do our part to help children who are navigating through grief and loss at this time? There's a new children's book series to help. Joining us today to share her courageous story and the release of her two new children's books, but I don't want to say goodbye and it's okay to be happy um, and to tell us how we can provide support for our little ones who are grieving this holiday season is former U.S. Army veteran, children's author, and creator of a child's journey through grief series, Tayshae Mason. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Good morning. It's so good to see you and I'm so intrigued by these books that you've written because what a great angle to take and what, what a passionate topic to consider during everything that we've been through this past few years, really, um, and considering the children and the grief that they're going through. So your experience of loss of someone very special at a young age influenced this. So how did your father's passing shape you in creating this children's book series, A Child's Journey Through Grief? Well, um, I was nine years old when my when my father died, and it impacted me so greatly. Um, I didn't want to talk about my emotions, even though my mom really tried. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted to keep all the emotions inside. I didn't want to deal with anything other than being happy or being upset. Yeah. If it was anything else, I didn't want to deal with it. Um, and through the years, it also shaped how I had relationships with people. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to get too close for the fear of losing them. Mm -hmm. um, and so it took me a long time. And I finally decided to go to therapy and start working those through those emotions. Mm -hmm. And the idea came to me about writing a children's book and then about writing about grief and how can I do that? So I took from my experience. So I started with, but I don't want to say goodbye. And this story follows a little girl and, and, and keep in mind, the books are in her words. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but I don't want to say goodbye follows her journey as she hasn't been too long, found out about her father dying and she's trying to process her feelings while her mother is preparing for a funeral. So as uh, the story concludes, and, but I don't want to say goodbye, we go further into the story and it's okay to be happy. And that is dealing even more with the emotions, but I added in there um, grief support group for children. So children um, around the same ages can talk about how they feel with their loved one being gone, because this is about now what happens after the funeral. You know, everyone comes and offers their condolences, but what happens when the funeral is over? So right. as we approach this holiday season, what's your message? You've already given me a lot of hope and encouragement, but what is your encouragement and hope that you'd like to share with families, particularly those here in Corpus or across the country, struggling after the loss of a loved one? My hope is, is that you be kind to yourself mm -hmm. and understand that grief does take time that it's okay to to cry if you need to it's okay it's okay to feel mad it's okay to feel sad if you need to be alone for a little bit that's okay too and for those that are uh there for their loved ones that are going through that grief sometimes the best thing you can do is just sit there and just be there with them in that moment and then maybe discuss some things that you can do to kind of help sometimes a funny story about that individual you know you know and then it's okay to laugh even if at the same time you're laughing and you start crying again but just be kind to yourself 